Hello and welcome to a GCN indoor training session. It is going to be short and really intense. Packing in just about the most amount of hard work in this space of time that you could possibly get. 12 minutes at threshold and six more minutes at VO2 max. But don't worry, it's all broken down into manageable intervals. We'll start as always with a nice gentle warm up. This first minute, just pedaling really gently, will increase the intensity and your cadence each progressive minute before the hard work starts. Okay, joining me today on the front row, we've got Hank and we've got Morgan. On the back row, we've got Katie and Maddie as well. Thank you, Doke. Get ready to just increase the uh, intensity in the next 10 seconds. Just keep it nice and gentle. Just looking to increase your heart rate really gradually so that when the hard work starts, you're ready for it. Okay, pick up the cadence. Effort level four. So you should be able to talk nice and easily. Just really easing those legs in nice and gently. Hopefully you come into this session fresh because as I said, it is gonna be intense. Right, to give you a bit more information about the session, we've got two blocks of really hard work. 30 seconds, almost at full sprint, then backing off to threshold for a minute before going back up to another 30 seconds, really hard. And you do that six times in total. Then we can have a little breather, but not as long as you might hope before we repeat the exact same series of efforts. Okay, increase the cadence a little bit more. 75 RPM. You might need to change gear as well just to increase the resistance that you're feeling in your legs as well. You want to be starting to get a little bit out of breath now. You can hear my breathing start to go already. It's a short warm up, but it's going to do the job. Get ready to lift it again. Increase the cadence by another five RPM. Three, two, one, and up we go. If you're using a power meter, you want to be looking at just under your FTP at this point. So we're already working really hard. Hopefully that your legs are still feeling good at this point. Okay, we're gonna lift it one more time in this warm up, up to threshold power. So by the end of the minute, you're gonna be breathing nice and deeply. Also want your cadence to lift again. Okay, off we go, a little bit faster. And then at the end of this minute, we're gonna back it right off. Nice, gentle pedaling before we go into our first set of six VO2 max intervals with recovery at threshold. Sounds delightful. How you doing team, all good? Feeling good, still fresh. I don't think we're going to be in 20 minutes though. Oh. I don't think you'll be fresh in 20 minutes. And if you are still fresh in 20 minutes, you've done something wrong. This is as intense as you can get. Okay, get ready to back it off in 10 seconds. Use your gears, use the resistance on the trainer, whatever you need. Okay. 
Right then, one minute to compose yourself. Have a think about what gear you're gonna use for those VO2 max intervals. You should start off feeling in control and on top of it. And by the end of 30 seconds, you'll be starting to feel the effort. It's not max though, because you still need something in the tank, because we're not going back to recovery pace. You're still pressing on the pedals super hard, okay? It might take a bit of practice to find the gears that you need to use. So don't worry too much if you don't nail this first interval straight away. One last drink. Okay, 10 seconds to go. Gonna be pedaling nice and quickly for this one as well. Okay team, 110 RPM. Ready, steady, go. Keep it nice and controlled. Not too much rocking and rolling. You've got 12 of these to do. Okay, get ready to back it off. Just one gear, lower your RPM. In three, two, one. Okay, one minute now. Still pressing on the pedals, try and recover. Breathing back under control. Another 20 seconds and then we're back into another VO2 max interval. Remember the gear you used last time? Okay, ready? Five, three, two, one, up we go. Go, 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 go. Nice and controlled. You might start feeling it in your legs now. We're gonna back it off again in five seconds. Okay, slow your pedaling. Drop the wattage. They're still pressing on those pedals. We're looking at threshold intensity. Just below FTP. of power you'd be riding up a big long climb at. Everyone good? All good. Hang in there. Okay these come around thick and fast. Get ready for the next one. You're gonna hit it in just over 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Lift that intensity again, lift your cadence. You can do it, come on. Ten seconds left. Back it off, drop that cadence, drop the power slightly. Try and recover as best you can. You should really feel the effort building recovery in name but not nature ok 
Okay, get ready for the next one. You're doing great. Ready and go. Find that intensity. Get on top of the gear. Nice, fast feet. Ready for the recovery. Back it down, effort level seven. Slow your pedaling right down to 90 RPM. Keep that body position nice and consistent. Feel like you're getting close to the limit now. Okay, get ready for the change. Up we go. Get on top of that gear. Your legs are going to be screaming, but that's the point. Okay, back it down. Threshold. Hang in there, you can do it. RPM, remember for these ones. seconds that you've got to go. Get off. This is recovery. You've got two minutes now. Take the intensity right down. As easy as you can make it. 
while staying on your bike. We've got two minutes. And then I'm afraid you've got to do that all over again. But just think about how much bang for your buck you're getting in this 30 minute period. Okay. Everyone's starting to recover a little bit. Get in. Maybe Come get back out. to normal. Get out of the saddle if you need to stretch your legs. Tell you what, those high intensity, high cadence work. Just getting out of the saddle on those real rest periods for 30 seconds kind of helps you reset before you go into that high cadence work, which ultimately not only is building a cardiovascular system and your spiritual system, but it's also helping you peak to go and uh, improve that VO2 max, which is something you, you're gonna wanna have in the hole, in the, in the locker as it were, so. It's all good work, hard but good. Okay team, we've got 30 seconds now before the next set of intervals. Same thing again, try and hold the same gear, the same intensity, the same power that you did for the last set. Try and get that work done at the same quality that you did before. Fight the fatigue, fight the screaming in your legs. It'll be over before you know it. Ready? And let's go. That's it, hit it hard. Another 30 seconds at 110 RPM. This is gonna be feeling like it's nearly full gas now. Okay. And ready to back it off. There we go, one minute, drop the cadence, keep the power down. Try and recover. Five more of those to go. Just five more, and then you're done. Not just for today, but probably tomorrow as well. Remember to keep that body position under control. If your glutes are getting a bit sore, maybe give this next one a go out of the saddle. I can't promise it's gonna hurt less. In fact, I think it's gonna be worse. Ready, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds. Lift that cadence. Ten. Five. Keep going. One, and he's back to threshold. I'm not doing that again. That really hurt. Each their own, I guess. If that helped, do it for the next one. You got four more left now. Try and recover as best you can, even at this intensity. Nearly there, not long left. Break it down into these manageable chunks. 30 seconds at a time. Ready for the next one. I'm staying in the saddle. You get out if you need to or you want to. Up, oh, here we go. Lift that cadence, 110. Yeah. 
Your legs are going to be screaming. But you're nearly done. Halfway through this last set. Back it down. 90 RPM. Just below threshold. Don't focus on the end of the session though right now. If your legs are anything like mine, just take it as it comes. Think about your gearing. Think about your body position. Do not think about your legs. They'll do what you tell them to. Okay, get ready to lift it. And out we go. Slow the cadence, back to the threshold. Just focus on the next 40 seconds, 90 RPM, get through to the end of that. You're in a world of pain. Just remember, it's gonna end soon. You're nearly done. Nearly done. Everyone good? Yeah. We're gonna make it. Just about. Right, get ready. We're going up again. Three, two, one. Up, here we go. 110. Really drive those pedals. Don't let that cadence drop. Five. One. Okay, back down. Try to get your breathing back under control for this bit. This kind of workout is so good for you. Come into this fresh, recover well afterwards. And you will feel the benefits out on the road. This is good quality work, and you're gonna do more of it in three, two, one. Back up to 110, VO2 max. And this is gonna be feeling like it's nearly max now. But keep it controlled. Keep pressing on those pedals. This is it, get it all out. And we're back to threshold. But you're nearly there. And back it off to threshold. Drop that cadence. This is the last lap. Nearly there, team. Nearly there.
keep on top of that body position. No rocking and rolling, no matter how much it hurts. 30 seconds. You got this, you got this. Nearly there, guys. Five, three, two, one. And back it off. Effort level two. Spin those legs. You have done it. Six minutes at VO2 max and 12 minutes at threshold. I guarantee you'll be struggling to do more than that in a 30 minute window. Talk about productivity. You guys made it? All good? Oh my word. Right, three and a half minutes left. Don't be tempted to jump off the trainer just yet. Keep spinning those legs. If you've got any longer than three minutes, maybe stay put, keep spinning those legs. And make sure you finish that water bottle that you haven't drunk from because you've been trying too hard. That's such an effective workout. You gotta come into it fresh. You don't wanna do that too many times a week. But those kind of workouts, they're effective and speaking personally, makes me feel good. As grim as it is, I'll have a spring in my step now. You starting to recover, guys? Yeah. Life's coming back to me, really. Blood's coming back to my head, spinning my legs. Um, but yeah, like you say, 30 minutes with that much work, I mean, you can't knock it. It just shows what you can get in a 30 minute session. But like Sai says, if you've got some more time to spin the legs out, do some stretching, then it's all beneficial for keeping a good, healthy body and being able to you know, do this again in the next couple of days. But I suggest you uh, take it easy on the old training after that because that's going to take it out of you. Okay, not long now, minute 40. My legs are still absolutely screaming after that. It's like being in a bike race, following attacks, not being able to recover, going again, not being able to recover, go again. If that's your cup of tea, you'll find it's a secret weapon. One minute left. Right now, folks. seconds to go. Thank you very much for following along to another GCN indoor training session. We have absolutely loads for you to check out on the GCN training channel. So if you like this one, make sure to have a look for some other ones. All sorts of different durations and intensities depending on how much time you've got and what you want to achieve in that session. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and I will see you back here next time.